What's going on guys, Tony the Arcade Dad here, and today we are going to the arcade to film episode number two of the Arcade Dad Bucket List. Today on the Bucket List, we are going to be taking on Full Tilt. Now Full Tilt looks super easy, the concept of, is very easy. A ball drops, you have a big gear that you turn, and it moves the platforms and the little gears inside of it, and you try to get the ball into the jackpot hole. Now the issue with this one, the reason that it's so hard for us to get the jackpot is A, uh, my hand-eye coordination apparently is not good on this game, and B, the way that the jackpot hole at the bottom is set up is there's two clear pieces that go at an angle like this, and then there's the jackpot. On the other side, they go like this. So that goes into the tin hole, and then straight up and down for like the 50 and the 20 and all that other stuff. The tins are always pointed out, and then the jackpot is always pointed in. So it's really, really difficult to get it to fall in that spot. So <coughs> we're going to go to the arcade today, and we are going to try to get the jackpot on full tilt. So guys, if you like these bucket list episodes, make sure you give a big fat thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more bucket lists. Don't forget to smash that bell notification icon so you can be notified whenever we upload a new video and when we go live here on YouTube. We go live every Sunday, guys. So um, without further ado, let's go take on this bucket list. And guys, before we get started, since this is something that's on my bucket list, I also know that it is on Kevin from Dragon Claw Games bucket list, guys. So if we hit the jackpot on this today, you need to go to youtube.com slash Dragon Claw Games and go to his most recent video, whichever video is up first, and leave a comment on there saying, the arcade dad hit the jackpot on full tilt, where are you at? And just heckle him a little bit, don't be too rude, but just heckle him a little bit to see if we could get him to upload a video of him either hitting the jackpot or missing terribly the jackpot on full tilt guys I want everybody to go over there if we hit this jackpot and say Kevin where is your jackpot video on full tilt and let's see if we can get it going alright guys let's go to the arcade Yo.
guys. <laughs> Alright, so in uh, in the uh, the habit of things, I got the jackpot on something on the bucket list, so now Jin's gonna give it a try. Oh, it's down here now. Oh, right in the tent. We can't come to the arcade without Jin hitting up that Mega Stacker. I know, it's super repetitive, but it's super awesome whenever she wins. Now the question is, is she going to stop at 200, or is she going to test the fate of the payout rate? She is testing the fate. And she ruined it! She got a whole two tickets! All right, she's going for round two. Climbing the ladder, guys, climbing the ladder. She's actually doing good keeping all those blocks all the way up to 200. I'm very impressed at her progress. And she chose ticket level this time. 200 is a lot better than two. Add a couple zeros and you get some prizes. No, no, let's do it On the impossible game. Wait for, wait for the animation, wait for the to close, and we're going. So Jen wants to give her hand at Snowdown. She's never played it before. She wants to see what an impossible game feels like. So let's get the animation going. There you go. And she is just jerking that thing around. Holy crap, look at that. Babe, babe, calm down with it. You're gonna break it. She does not care. She is jerking this thing around like she is shaking something that she ain't supposed to be shaking. But who knows, it might work for her because we don't know the technique of this. Nobody knows how to win this game. Alright, see how she's doing it. And she completely forgot about the blizzard button. <coughs> she's not doing too bad though, she's already up almost halfway. Alright, she's already at 50 tickets. And time is up. She came out with 50. Still not bad for the first try, right? All right, Jen and I are both going for some monster drop. You go drop it. All right, so hers is somewhere over here. Where's yours going? Where's that thing going? It's going into number two. And mine? Okay, so mine's dropping a little bit early. Or, I'm sorry, a little bit late. 26. All right, go for it. Oh, that dropped super early. Here's four. So we got to drop it, like, right on top of it. 
still early. Wow. Oh, six. All right, last drop. Just gotta wait for hers to come around. Oh, that was right out of the jackpot. And add bonus balls. Wasted, wasted play. Oh, mine bounced right out of it too. And don't do it. And we got add bonus balls again. So since we cleared off another thing off the bucket list, I think we deserve a prize. What do you think, Jen? Awesome. Let's go to the prize stand and see what we can get. Alright guys, we are back from the arcade, and as you guys saw, we hit the jackpot on Phil Tilt, not once, but twice, guys. So I hope every single one of you goes to youtube.com slash dragonclawgames, get on their most recent video, and say, can you hit the jackpot on Full Tilt, and let them know the arcade dad sent you over there to do that. And by the way, guys, we checked off another thing off of our bucket list. We smashed through on full tilt. As you saw, we got some prizes. Um, so let's go over these prizes. The first thing we got, I can't show you because it's actually in use right now. It's a little lava lamp or sparkle lamp nightlight that uh, we use in the bedroom so we have light at night whenever we got to feed tray and all that other good stuff. And the second thing we got, which is Jen's gift, but I stole it from her for today, and it is, uh, I burped, this Pikachu little hat thing for whenever it's cold outside. Probably made for girls, and I'm wearing it. Who cares? And last but not least, what we got was I needed to get a replacement Mario mug because somebody, the girl holding the camera, uh, put mine in the dishwasher and it chipped away some of the paint and now she uses it all the time so I never get to use it. So I got a replacement Mario mug. Guys, again, if you guys like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up, man. Definitely refer to two, some of the videos that are going to pop up in the screens, um, on the screens on the uh, left and right of me. And um, don't forget to smash that subscribe, guys, and uh, hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified when we come out with more bucket list videos just like this one, guys. And uh, as always, guys, if you have trouble finding your inner child, it's probably at the arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.